Hello, best friend, and oh, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. Best friend, my name is Sebastian, and I spill pop culture tea videos every single day. Just consider me your pop culture valedictorian, bitch, and uh, capitalize the dick in the Torian, okay? Because, girl, listen, two for one special. What the fuck did I just say, bitch? Listen, don't take me serious, girl, okay? Don't not take me serious, bitch, because a mess, okay? Listen, this is how messy I am. Look at that self-tanner, bitch. Don't, you don't want to take someone serious that, that does not know how to self-tan. Anyways, girl, listen. Last night, pair. Oh, so last night was a Simple Life reunion show. Ooh, girl, listen, when I tell you it was a movie, bitch, and I had some drama, too. We'll talk about it. But listen, right? Um, what you call it? Paris Hilton invited my husband and I uh, a week ago, or was it a week ago? Almost a week ago, some days ago. Yeah, I think it was like a week ago to go last night to the uh, event. And it was amazing, best friend. I mean, first of all, the simple life, so freaking iconic. You guys know that it is something that my brother and I grew up watching and um, we used to pretend we were Paris and Nicole and we would get into all these adventures and get into trouble on purpose and drop things and sanasa all the way. Anywhere where we would go, we would be sanasa -ing. Um, But, you know, unfortunately, he, you know, you guys know he's no longer with us. Um, but, it, you know, The Simple Life is just, it's it's uh, such a comfort, you know, for me because it reminds me of such beautiful times that I shared with him. So for it to come back 20 years later and you know, for it to to be, you know, back in 2024 is so insane to me. Um, and I just couldn't be more happy. So when I got the invite, I was like, I, this isn't, this is, this is just so crazy. So we got there and they put me on the VIP list, girl. I was like, okay, girl, you know, just act like you belong, bitch. Act like you belong, bitch. You know, like, oh yeah, VIP girl. Oh yeah, I've been there, done that. <laughs> Meanwhile, inside my inside characters are fucking doing the Macy's Macy's Day Parade, bitch. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. But anyways, girl, listen, right? So I get there, amazing. The show, amazing. Paris, amazing. Nicole, amazing. I mean, when I tell you, this was filmed for, I, I'm not sure when it's going to air, but it is uh, filmed for the show. And it was like this, I'm not gonna give anything away, but it was amazing. It was amazing, best friend. Paris and Nicole did the damn thing. Let me just tell you that point blank period, okay? Um, first of all, I, you guys know that I don't, I, don't, I don't go out to a lot of events, you know? I'm just starting to get invited and I'm so grateful, so thankful. But one thing, best friend, let, let, let's just get over the negative for like a second because there's so many amazing moments coming up. So anyways, um, when we were about to enter like the, you know, to take our seats, the, I met a really cool group of people who, who were in front of us. Special shout out to Chris. I met, I met like, I, I met a good handful of you guys, which I'm so thankful for. Um, so, so thank I One of the most amazing things I love is meeting you guys. It it really warmed. You guys know my journey here. I, I don't take it for granted at all. You guys know this. Uh, by the way, we are like five five away from 77,000, which is so crazy to me, bitch. But anyways, so uh, shout out to you, Chris, and, and, and to, uh, you know, everyone else I met. I love you. I'm so grateful for you guys. Um, but there was these two guys, right, who walked in, bitch, you would have thought that they, that they were Paris and Nicole. They thought they were Paris and Nicole. They thought that they were on the same line. They thought, okay, that there was 50 camera paparazzi on them, bitch. The way they were ducking, girl, okay? The way that they were ducking, all right? They had these glasses and they were just sizing people up and down with a stink ass fucking attitude. And one of them, best friend, one of them turns, like, glances over to me and does this and walks away. I'm like, girl, if that is what you needed to do to help you get by in your day, you live a very sad existence, boo-boo, okay? Because, listen, if you want to chuckle, <laughs> okay, that's on you, girl. You know what I'm doing? I'm wishing you well. I'm wishing you well because you look a mess, okay? Listen, let me tell you something, best friend. Nobody's better than nobody, okay? And, you know, you know how they say, like, celebrities sometimes, you know, they think they're better? Let's say Paris and Nicole, you know, they, 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 they had a little attitude. I'd be like, girl, you are a queen's. They were the most grateful, most humble, down-to-earth, 
and it was all about them. We were there for them, okay? And they were more humble than these two clowns, okay? Because what they were doing was clownery. Let me just tell you something, best friend. Middle school, high school is not over, boo-boo. And let me tell you another thing, okay? Just because maybe you got, you know, uh, 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 a little Gucci glass going on and, and this and that. Girl, you are not better than nobody. We are equal, okay? We are all here together, boo-boo, okay? So listen, best friend. Uh, we are we are equal, okay? <laughs> okay? Chill. But yeah, I just, you know, I think it's because I'm just starting to go out and, and, and to seeing these things. I didn't know people still acted this way. But girl, anyways, I honestly, you know what I did? I smiled at him. Girl, I gave him the biggest smile, bitch. I was like, you know, because I'm happy to be here, honey. Listen, in life, you got to be grateful and humble because God do not like ungrateful and unhumble people, okay? So goodbye, okay? Clown and clownery. Um, anyways, to the positive. Listen, best friend. Ooh, okay. Paris and Nicole. Let me just talk to you guys a little bit about them. The way that they are so grateful to do what they're doing. Paris, you guys know, is known for loving her little Hilton so much. You know, she loves her fans. She loves her supporters. She goes above and beyond for her fans. She knows every single fan's name by heart, probably, okay? She... She did a couple of things last night that I just wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was so fucking admirable. The first one is, there was this girl and I forgot her. Oh, her name was Kim. Her name was Kim. She flew in from Kansas, okay? And we she she had a, a, VIP, um, a VIP bracelet on. And the way that it was getting, you know, uh, she thought that, you know, VIP bracelets meant that you were sitting like front row or, or something. But the VIP got you like access to like a couple of, you know, things. But at the end of the day, it wasn't a huge auditorium. Every seat was amazing. But she did not get, you know, uh, the first row. She got, you know, just she was like in the sixth row. But it, it was really it was really like bothering her and you know she kept wanting to like ask the people and say like hey you know why are we here we shouldn't be sitting here and you know i was we were all kind of confused but at the end of the day like i was in my seat and i told my husband i'm like i'm so thankful to be here like and i told her that i was like girl it does not matter where we're seated we're here let's be grateful let's enjoy so she enjoyed she literally flew in in the morning and had to leave in the nighttime, okay? She, I think her flight was like at 12. So Paris and Nicole, they, they, they did uh, the show twice because it was for filming. It wasn't a, like a show for us. It was, we were an audience watching them film the, the show, right? So Paris and Nicole, um, they basically, they were like, hey, we, you know, we're gonna do the run through uh, the show again. If you guys want to stay, you're more than welcome to stay. We would love for you to stay, but if you got to go, we totally understand you got to go, so no worries. A few people left, but the majority stayed because you stay for Paris and Nicole. But anyways, this girl, Kim, um, she stayed as much as she could, and they were in the middle of uh, waiting to film another scene. And next thing I know, I see Kim walking up to the stage, right? Mind you, there was no security at that moment. There was no one. I mean, Paris was literally right there. Like, it was, she was so chill. Everyone was so chill, so nice. And she goes and does this to Paris. Like, bye, I gotta go, I gotta go. She had to catch her flight. I guess Kim was just waiting for a goodbye. Bitch, Paris Hilton held up production, okay? She said, no, 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 wait, 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 come here. She told that girl to come up to the stage, okay? Give her a huge hug. And then she had her, like, I guess social media people take pictures of them so that she could leave with, a, you know, with a picture of, of Paris and, uh, and her together. Who does that? Who fucking does that? I'm sorry, best friend. But, like, that's... I saw that. I got teary-eyed for, for, for Kim because... She flew from Kansas. She loves Paris. She was so sad she couldn't get closer. And the way that like when Paris invited her to the stage, I got, I'm going to get teary eyed again because I knew how much it meant for her. I knew how happy she got. 
I knew like how it just kind of changed everything for her, right? And this is what I love about Paris. And it, it, it brings me to the next thing. So the show ended, Paris said, you guys, thank you guys so much. I mean, one thing, listen, Paris and Nicole both maybe 20, 40 times probably said thank you. I mean, the way they were so grateful. So Paris told the audience that was there, said, hey, um, give me a sec. I want to take pictures with each and every one of you, right? Perfect. If you know Paris, you know that Paris does this. This is not nothing out of the ordinary because one thing about Paris is that she is there for her fans, period. Okay. So the curtain closes, Paris and Nicole go backstage and all of a sudden the people working at the auditorium basically said we needed to, you know, to leave the, the auditorium. And, you know, we were all kind of confused because they were like, well, you know, uh, we were like, well, Paris said she was going to come and take pictures. Next thing you know, they're saying nobody's coming out. Nobody's coming out. You guys need to evacuate now. You need to leave now. So we went, mind you, this is not Paris's team. This is not Nicole's team. This is people who work, you know, in the auditorium, like the ushers. And they were just saying, you know, evacuate. And you know, one thing, one thing about me, best friend, that I need you to know is I like to follow rules. If I'm, if I'm told I gotta go, I gotta go. Okay, I'm going. I like, I love to follow rules. Listen, I tell my husband he makes fun of me all the time, but like, listen, depends, depends, because you know, when you go after your dreams, you gotta do what you need to do. But you know what I mean? Like these type of rules that it's, you know, uh, <clears throat> when there's a, 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 a you know audience involved you, you gotta do listen we've all worked make the job easier for people right anyways right so we go to the lobby and everyone is just kind of like what do we do now what do we do now but everybody there who is familiar with paris knows that if she promises something she's gonna keep the damn promise so she and nicole all of a sudden barge in from the entrance of the auditorium and of the lobby, sorry. And they're filming a scene of the simple life of them just kind of coming in. So now we're all standing in front of them. And in that, like two minutes before, uh, it was it was already 10 and my and I, we had to walk our dogs. So, and my husband had to get up at like 5.30 this morning. So I was like, I would love to wait for Paris, obviously, because I really wanted to congratulate her because I mean, what they did with The Simple Life was just amazing. But, you know, I was like, girl, the dogs. And if some, Paris Hilton understands this, mommy, doggy moments, uh, doggy duties come first. So we were about to leave when Paris and Nicole like came in and they were like so, so incredible. They gave a little speech, um, just thanking everybody. And then we all did the Sanasa, you know, the Sanasa. And this is when something happened that I really wanted to tell you guys about. It's <clears throat> the, I guess the, they needed to evacuate, you know, bring down all the cameras, all the props, everything from the stage and load them into trucks, right? So of course, you know, I they rent out these places and they have until probably midnight or else they have to pay for a full day or something, you know? Everything is contracts and stuff. So that's obviously very understandable. But there were uh, left maybe like, I would say maybe what, like 200 people probably. And the the ushers were saying like, you know, oh, um, can we just Paris, Nicole, take a group picture 
and then you know you got you guys got to go. Mind you, Paris Hilton's team is amazing. Like Lauren, shout out to you. Mike, shout out to you. You guys were amazing. Their security was so freaking chill. It, I mean, their from their team was amazing. But there was this, you know, the ushers. They they had a job that needed to be done. Period. So. All of a sudden, Paris turns to her and said, I'm taking a picture with every single person here. Girl, everybody wanted to clock out that worked there, okay? And Paris was, Paris was like, you guys can clock out. I'm going to stay here. And I'm not going to leave until I take a picture with every single person here. That, my friends, is something that I found to be so admirable. Because imagine, the, the show is an hour long. Imagine all the rehearsing, all the times that they ran through the shows. Plus, she's a mother of two toddlers, babies, right? Cause what age is a toddler? I, two babies, okay? Businesses, you know, freaking, you know, empires. You know, Nicole has a family. She has her empires. I mean, they're both very busy. So the fact that Paris stayed an hour and a half, probably, taking a picture with every single person, not only taking a picture, but speaking with everybody, thanking everybody, you know, asking everyone questions. Mind you, Paris knows every single person's name. It's insane, bitch. I don't remember, I don't remember my my my, my freaking um, uh, uh, neighbor's names, bitch, and I lived here for three years. As simple as that, bitch, I don't, girl. But Paris remembers everybody's name. So I just, I thought it was very important for me to share that because, you know, in celebrity, culture you always hear of the mean celebrities and the mean you know and this and mean and she's a diva and she's this but by golly honestly paris is not girl i mean it is insane how she and she probably had to get up at you know probably stayed up you know with the babies and all these things and i just have to give her so much of her flowers because she is just honestly better than I think you could ever imagine. Seriously, she is so incredibly kind, so sweet, so, so loving. And she doesn't know I have a YouTube channel. So, you know, I'm sure, well, I don't know if she does actually, but you know, this is not for her to, her, her to, to, to listen or, 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 you know, this is not for, for, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to do anything other than tell you guys the truth because I just know that there are so many celebrities, like I said, with such bad reputations, but Paris Hilton is not one of them. I mean, it's insane how much dedication she has and how devoted she is to her fans. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. It was amazing. It was so great. I absolutely loved every minute of it. And um, she was just amazing. So. I'm very grateful for her last night. Once again, her team is so amazing. Lauren, thank you so much. Mike, thank you so much. And Paris and Nicole, you guys just did that and beyond. I mean, you guys have no idea what's coming with The Simple Life. It is going to blow your mind when you see what I saw last night. And I am just so thankful with God for the opportunity. And um, I'm so grateful for the next and I don't take any of you guys for granted because I know for a fact that if it was not for you guys, um, I, you know, I simply would not have these opportunities. So thank God. Thank you guys. And uh, Paris, I love you so much. Nicole, I love you. And sana, 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 sana. Okay. I love you guys. Mwah.